Do you know what it's like to love something so much and to work so hard for something that you dream? The only thing I ever wanted to be was a wrestler. I didn't know anything else. I've never wanted to be anything else. And then you put your time in and then it gets you this place and that place and whatever, right? And then you get to a place where you think, holy shit, I made it. My hard work paid off. And then the guy that could provide you that opportunity stops you middle of the hallway and tells you, you're not a fucking wrestler. That shit hurts, man. That hurt. And those words literally replay in my fucking head every single day. Every day I get home from work and every day that I don't want to fucking get into this gym and hop on this treadmill or, or go and push those weights back there. And that sentence just echoes in my brain. And then I watch that same guy hand you a contract on the weekend. And I'm not mad. I'm so happy for you, man. Nobody, with the exception of maybe Veda, is happier in this fucking planet that you got that deal than me. But all I'm, all's I'm gathering from this is just the, 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 the chips getting stacked against me. The best wrestler in the world, the best striker in the world, the best unsigned talent in the world. But hey, guess what? Now he's not the best unsigned talent in the world. Now you're the best signed talent in the world. You're the C4 heavyweight champion. You're the IWS heavyweight champion. Hell, by the time that you and I fight next weekend, you might be the C4 underground champion. You're now an impact wrestling superstar. What the fuck other chips can you stack against me for next weekend? Got IWS putting out, come watch Speedball defend his championship next weekend. It's like, I'm the only fucking person that believes in me. And if that's the way it's gotta be, then so fucking be it. If I have to walk into Montreal by myself and be the only person in that entire building that believes that I'm going to walk out of there with that fucking title. And so be it. I heard the gasps. I heard the, the disappointment when I won my last match there. I'll hear it again. I'll hear it again. And I hate that it's going to make me so happy because I fucking love you, dude. But unfortunately, you're standing in the way of my destiny. You go have fun up in the big leagues. While I stay here, take the torch from your fucking hands and run with it.